Hi everyone, Gil here. So this is a video to show you how to take an MP4 video and get it into a sequence in X slides. So if you see something maybe on YouTube that you would like to to use, you can find an online video converter. I picked this one just doing a Google search. You paste in your YouTube link here. You go down the video formats, select MP4, hit convert and it's going to create you a file that you can download and I did that and created this frozen mp4 so now I have I have this video that I want to use so I've re, I've re uh, or I've used Camtasia to edit this to resize it because I didn't want the black at the top and bottom of my p10 panel um, but that's optional so what I did was my show directory for my P10 panel is here. P10 panel, I created a subdirectory with just this file because it's going to create a lot of frames, and I didn't want them. I didn't want them all cluttering my show directory. So I'm in Windows. So right here from File Explorer, I'll hold down Shift, right click, and say Open Command Window here. That gives me a, your good old DOS command prompt. So FFmpeg is installed along with X lights on your machine so it should already be there so type FFmpeg dash I if you have any spaces in your name for your file you definitely need the quotes there so they're optional since I don't have spaces dash R for rate 20 for 20 frames per second dash S for size I've got a 128 by 80 matrix and the base name I'll just say let it go you need a dash percent d dot png so that's going to create like a dash one two three four five so i'll hit enter pull this up it shouldn't take very long so it's done that fast and created forty three hundred and forty three frames if you go back here you can see all the frames that it created they're all in that directory so now i can go back to x lights I'll uh, create a new sequence, musical sequence. I need to find where I have let it go. 20 millis or 20 frames per second, like I did in the video. I hit done. Now I'll select my everything view, which already has my matrix. Delete, deselect the timing so I can drop a, an effect down. So let me drag it out a little, slide it to the beginning, drag it out to the end, bring up the effect window, and now I need to navigate to that directory where I have the video I just rendered to frames. So you want to select the very first one with the dash one. Now you can see we're already rendering the frames on your model preview and the house preview. So that's pretty much it. You could, from right now, I could stop, go to first frame, and you could play this. And you've already got a sequence that has that video rendering to a matrix. And it's something that you could pause and go anywhere you want in that video. Another cool thing, let me insert another layer up here. You could come down and say drop an effect, which I already had one where I typed let it go, so you can see how I could put words on top of the video. You could even come down and drop an effect. So here I have an effect playing right on top of that video. Let me insert another layer. So I'll just show you how you could move that up, slide it over. And now I've got all three things happening at once. So that's the beauty of X Lights, and that's how you take a video and get it into into one of your display elements in X Lights. So, so experiment and have fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.